I don't got much time left. Joe Boy's back here. My battery's about to die. Joe Boy's over here. He got some big sticks. This is day one of the big push. We moved seven loads today. Right around 175 ton. Not too shabby for two dudes. So we'll see what day two brings. If I can move another 75 ton tomorrow, that'll be good. My goal was for 10 loads in two days. I know a lot of people do that by lunchtime. Well, let's say we are hand cutting, cable skidding. He's over there somewhere. But yeah, we're moving wood, folks. We're logging now. No, day two. I'm hurting, I'm tired. We're gonna go buck some logs, eh? The loader started, dozer started, and uh, I'm gonna hit the skitter here in a minute. Um, oh, why'd I do that? It's gonna get really cold here tonight, so it wasn't too bad this morning. Looks like everything stayed frozen. I was worried we were supposed to get rain, but it's all right. So we're gonna just uh, pound it today. Nice steady pace, hopefully. Nothing breaks. Let's see how it goes. The goal is we gotta get, only gotta get three out today to reach the goal. We did seven. Why do I keep turning off? We did seven yesterday. I'm gonna try to do five today. Yeah. All right. Day two. Look at that sunrise. Ain't that beautiful? It's colder and shit, but you know what? That makes it worth it right there. Besides, I fire this up, I'll be warm. Put a new plug and a new filter in the old girls. Seemed like she's having a little trouble breathing yesterday. So, it was time. Let's get you a nice cut video. So, let's just hope everything goes smooth today. No breakdowns and this will be one of the best weeks I've ever had. So, let's get it. Now you see that tree, a lot of people be like, that needs to go because it's garbage. There's two reasons. I'm not going to cut that. First is this little ditty right here. And what I found on this property is it's such old farmland. Right out across there, right through here, where you can see the dozer down there, if you can't see it, is a fence line. I'm leaving this tree for two reasons, because it's such old farmland. There's barbed wire, I noticed up in here too because they put it in when the tree was young 
and the tree grew carrying the wire up the tree. And the other is, if you step around this side and you look up there at them knot holes, those are all open. That tree's hollow sin. There's, there's stuff living in that. You could call me a, a wuss, a bum, or whatever you want to call me. But uh, I ain't up for rooting animals up in the middle of winter. I mean, whatever. If it's, it's just a tree here and there. I don't, it doesn't make no difference. I don't feel like. Just a little touch up. It's like three o'clock. We had a transmission or a diff differential line in the 748. Somehow it come loose from this little harness. And when Joe was grabbing some trees, just a freak accident, the way that that universal joint opens up when you're on an angle, opened up, grabbed that hose, and ripped that sunk. Rip that thing out of there, I almost said a bad word. And uh, spun it up around that shaft like a piece of spaghetti. It took us an hour just to figure out what it was, where it came from. It took us another hour to get all through the frozen dirt in the belly and everywhere else. And then, I don't know how long it took to put it back together. Sorry, I'm out of breath, I'm hoofing it. But all I gotta say 
And anybody that owns a John Deere knows this. Their hose routing sucks. Big, veiny, triumphant whale. Oh, does that suck? So, but we got it. Adapt and overcome. We got three, so we hit. We're gonna try to get one more load, and that'll be 11 in two days. And for two guys, I don't think that's too shabby. Wish us the best. We'll see what happens here. He got some skids laid out. I gotta go cut a couple more big popcorn trees. Over and out. Well, we hit our goal, plus one. Nice load of beautiful popcorn. So we got 11 loads in two days. Even with the breakdown. <laughs> Next time.